Today, sa Power ng Pinoy. Born without arms, she lives a life beyond normal and continues to inspire people from all walks of life. I had the will to do what I wanted to do and not let anything stop me. And that has come from my Filipino culture, for sure. Jessica Cox, a renowned international keynote speaker. Her life is a story of struggles and success. At 28 years old, pinapatunayan ni Jessica that sky's the limit. Iyan ang power ng Pinoy. Jessica Cox is only 28 years old, pero maubusan tayo ng oras if we were to list all her accomplishments. She's an FAA certified pilot, a licensed scuba diver, a black belt in Taekwondo, a gymnast, a surfer. She's also traveled all around the world as a motivational speaker. But what really makes Jessica's story truly remarkable is she's done all this and more with no arms. Halina't samahan nyo kami as we marvel at Jessica's incredible hands-off journey to success. This story is all about one woman's triumph of the will. Born without arms. Ipinapakita ni Jessica Cox na kaya niya magmaneho ng kotse. Ang kumain na walang tulong. Ang magsuot ng kanyang contact lenses. Ang mag-type ng 20 words per minute. Bibilib ka talaga kay Jessica. What we can do with our two hands, Jessica can do them with her two feet. I'm so adapt to these feet. They're my hands. And if I were to wake up one day with arms and hands, it would be like you or someone with arms waking up with an extra set of arms. You wouldn't know what to do with them. I wouldn't know what to do with arms and hands because my feet are my hands, my legs are my arms. While growing up in Sierra Vista, Arizona, hindi naging madale para kay Jessica na unawahin ang kanyang kalagayan. Oftentimes, I'd get angry or frustrated about it. Hindi rin ito naging madale para sa kanyang ina. My mom was devastated, which is natural. She's a mom. She had so many dreams, and she immediately thought over, you know, how would my baby eat? How would my baby put makeup on when she gets older? When I was growing up, my mom used to worry that I wouldn't be able to do all the things I needed to do. I was the first person without arms to get a black belt in the American Taekwondo Association. My mom, she was my best friend growing up. Mom is Inez Cox, originally from Southern Leyte, while her dad, William, was born in Mississippi, but grew up on a farm in Alabama. They met in an international party and the rest, as they say, is history. Jessica has two siblings. Older brother Jason, who wants to become a priest, is studying at the Ateneo de Manila. And sister Jackie is a preschool teacher. Although born to an interracial couple, Jessica grew up embracing the Filipino tradition. I grew up with every Filipino tradition you can think of. Uh, every summer we had the Filipino fiesta and I learned uh, to dance, to nickling. My favorite food is pancit, and I had that from every birthday that I can remember. As a child, it was so exciting to go to the Philippines. The first trip, I was eight years old, 
and I remember it like it was yesterday because uh, we went on the motorbikes in the province. I enjoyed the tricycle. Everything was like an adventure. You're watching Power ng Pinoy. The only true adversity I face is acceptance from other people. I went to get my driver's license. I passed with flying colors. A week later, I got a letter in the mail saying my license was suspended. Somebody decided it wasn't safe for me to be driving without special adaptations on my car. I had to go back and take two additional tests. I still don't drive with adaptations. Everywhere you go, you're gonna find people who have to pull others down. And why they need to do that? I honestly think maybe people have to pull others down to feel better about themselves. And for every bump on the road, Jessica looks up to God before taking the next step. My faith is uh, the foundation of my life. And that same faith in God and in her abilities to aim high encouraged Jessica to embark on a soaring adventure. Flying. A fighter pilot came up and he asked, how would you like to fly? And I said, well, why not? And I mean, I have this fear, but um, maybe this is an opportunity. And I kind of uh, prayed my prayers and, and, and uh, I went up in my first flight, on my first flight, and I remember having the experience of facing my fear. And it was like, wow, I've been building this up my whole life. And in reality, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be feared. And I remember someone told me what fear stands for. Actually, fear, F-E-A-R, stands for false evidence appearing real. Teka, papaano naman niya isinusuot ang kanyang headset? Now, these aren't exactly um, headsets to be used in an airplane, so, um, but they're similar. So I had to figure out how to put these on. And I did one ear like this. And then I had to fix it. Obviously like that. The first time I flew solo was, oh, the most incredible experience. And it's weird because, you know, I had mechanical problems, <laughs> obviously. Uh, I went through very good training. I was well prepared. And my flight instructor told me that morning, he said, if you can give me five good landings in a row, then I'm going to get out of the plane and you can solo. And so that means fly the plane by myself. That morning, it was 6 a.m., and it was Mother's Day. And I was wearing a shirt that said, Look, Ma, no hands. Well, my instructor, he said, Well, if you give me the five good landings, and sure enough, that morning I gave it to him at 6 a.m. Flying solo for the first time was a reminder to me that I'm not only pilot in command of this airplane right now, but everyone, as well as myself, I am pilot in command of my own life. Everyone is in pilot command of their, their lives. The choices they make, they have to live with that. The decisions they make, they're going to live with that as well. Choices and decisions, those are, we are in pilot command of our own lives and what we do now, what we say, do, and act out, that's what determines what our life is. Coming up, Jessica and her future. I didn't like the word handicap. And the reason I didn't like handicap because it said to me that I was limited. And I didn't feel like I was limited. And I this and more sa pagbabalik ng Power ng Pinoy. Power ng Pinoy is looking for producers or correspondents from various parts of the U.S. and Canada. Please submit your resume and sample scripts to jobs at powernangpinoy.tv. Join Power ng Pinoy and our Filipino greatness. So surreal too that this woman who used to sit quietly in a class is now making noise about building hopes and dreams all over the world. Teaching people to overcome their own handicaps. Many normal people suffer from a true disability, a lack of faith in themselves. I hope my life story encourages other people to fulfill their true potential, to overcome the handicap of fears and limitations they place on themselves.
or that other people encourage in them. I want them to think, hey, if she can do that much without arms, then I can do so much more with my life. Jessica Cox, an amazing woman of courage, faith, and determination. Saludo kami sa iyo, Jessica. Yan ang power ng Pinoy. And that's our show for today. Thank you for watching. Sana po ay na-inspire namin kayo. Just like Jessica, huwag kayong mawawala ng pag-asa because nothing is impossible in the land of the free as long as you plan ahead, pray hard, and work even harder. At kung ikaw ay nagtagumpay, tulungan mo rin magtagumpay ang kapwa mo. Yan ang power ng Pinoy. Music